All right, welcome back third graders. Today we are going to um, continue working on our leaves. The last time we were here we used the flat piece of foam, created these foam relief leaves, and today what you're going to do is we're going to print them. And for printing, it's going to be a little bit different than our first time using these. We're actually going to be using just some Crayola markers and plain paper and a wet sponge. So you're going to begin by getting your paper out, making sure that it has your name. And we're going to try to print each leaf several times so that you have a lot to choose from. We will later be cutting them out. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color with my markers and I can go just over that outside line a little bit because I like to print that one. And if you think about our leaves and what we see, it's nice to kind of add a variety of colors in. So I'm going to be working with green and a yellow green and then a yellow here in the center. Okay, and you know, colors are gonna get a little bit mixed, but we're okay with that. And before we're printing this, you're going to take that sponge, I'm kind of squeezing out some of the extra water, and I'm gonna get the paper wet. And because this is really thin paper, it can get wet pretty quickly. Then I'm gonna take my leaf, turn it upside down on the wet place, and I'm gonna gently rub over the leaf. You can see it and kind of feel it through the back, hoping that all of that marker is gonna transfer. So when I pull it up, oh, look how beautiful that is. All right, and then you wanna have a paper towel handy. You can wipe that dry. Doesn't matter some of the old marker colors there, but we do wanna have that dry. And so you're going to want to color and print several leaves, you know, changing up colors. And after you've done a few with your own leaf, what would be fun is if you trade leaves with somebody at your table. And so here I'm gonna borrow this leaf that I have. This is one of the maples, and I'm going to use some warm colors on it. Let's see, I don't have any orange at my table, but if I just use my yellow, the yellow and red are going to kind of make an orange. And yeah, making the markers a little messy, but we're okay with that. All right, now I still have a wet spot over here, but I think I might just want to go over it again. I'm going to kind of wipe off some of that extra. You want it wet, but not like soaking wet. And I'll take my leaf and put this right here. Okay, and then we're gently rubbing. We don't want to use your fingertips because the foam is pretty delicate. We don't want to accidentally put a hole in our foam here. And then we lift it up and isn't that gorgeous? Okay, your goal today is to make six to 10 of these prints. So remember, a lot of them are going to be your own, and then some of them you can trade with your neighbors. Just make sure that you're giving them a dry foam relief print back. Your name is on these, and you'll probably need a few sheets of paper, so feel free to use as many as you need. Um, you can kind of set them aside and let them dry a little bit. And then if they're dry, they can go in your table folder along with your leaf. If they are still very, very wet and you wanna use the drying rack, that would be fine. Just it's important to make sure your name is on them. So have fun making all of these leaves today. I'm excited to see them.